in this class we are going to discuss about n bit parallel adder up to now we discussed half adder and full adder now we are going to discuss about n bit parallel adder why we need this n bit parallel adder means every time we are not going to integrate this full adders for single single bit so if uh, there is any device is available for adding multi bit numbers means that is n bit parallel adder so this n bit parallel adder is nothing but cascade of full adders that means already integrated cascade of full adders so we can uh, take this readily and we can use it for addition of uh, multiple bits so see here for example i take in 4 bit full adder so that means we require four full adders how many bits are there that many full adders we need to cascade in it in this for example if you want n bit parallel adder so you need to cascade all n full adders in the same way so here you are having four bit full adder for example we are considering four bit full adder which is having four full adders if you take in four full adders definitely it will require each full adder will require carry input and two inputs and two outputs see here first full adder it's having carry input and two inputs and here sum output and carry output so for example i am taking a problem here so to add two four bit numbers that is a is equal to 0101 and b is equal to 1010 these two numbers are two four bit numbers for that to add these two uh, four bit numbers we need to consider four bit parallel adder now here these are the called as lsb bits this 1 and 0 are called as lsb bits and this 0 1 called as msb bits so these are the least priority and these are the most priority bits now for each corresponding bits you need to add by using full adder means here you are adding this 10 by using this full adder you are adding 01 by using this full adder you are adding third bit in both a and b you are adding by using third full adder so like that you are going to add in the circuit so here so this is nothing but a0 whatever lsb bit is there that is considered as a0 so after lsb you are considering as a1 that means this is a1 this is a2 and this is a3 so here in the similar way this is b0 b1 b2 and b3 so b3 is the maximum significant or most significant bit so here to add these two first of all i am considering a a0 and b0 a0 value here is 1 a0 value is 1 and b0 value is 0 i am just writing all combinations a0 is 1 b0 is 1 in the same way a1 is 0 b1 is 1 a1 is 0 b1 is 1 and a2 is 1 b2 is 0 so a2 is 1 b2 is 0 and then a3 is 0 b3 is equal to 1 so a3 is 0 b3 is equal to 1 so like this i written now i am going to perform the full addition and by using this parallel adder so here initially if you are in, uh, having any carry initially you won't ha have any carry because after adding some bits we are getting carry initially itself we are not having any carry so here you are having zero initially if I, in any problem they said the initial carry you must consider as one then you can consider as one but in standard initially we are not having any carry for this parallel adder so that's why i am considering as zero so now for for a full adder with three inputs that is a b c our three inputs are 1 0 so now you need to consider xr of this three bits to get some and ab plus bc plus ca process to consider to get carry so now as you know that if you xr 1 0 0 what is the result means as xr gate is a odd one detector 
definitely your sum is equivalent to 1. That means XR of 1, 0, 0 is equivalent to 1 here. So now I am going for carry. Carry means 1 into 0, 0 into 0, 0 into 1. That multiplication results we need to take in addition. So that means AB, BC, CA. In all cases you are getting 0 means if you are adding that zeros again you are getting 0 in place of C0. So that means carry out from this first full adder is equal to 0. This is given as input to the second full adder. So now I am uh, operating my second full adder. So in this case the input bits are 0, 1, 0. To get some you need to take XR of input bits. XR of 0, 1, 0. Again, 1, 1 is there. That means odd number of 1 is there. Definitely XR of 0, 1, 0 will become 1 only. Now, you need to see for carry 1. Carry 1 means you need to multiply AB and then BC and then CA and you need to add. In any case, you are getting 1 means in no case you are getting 1. There is no case to get 1. So, here 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0. By adding all zeros, you are getting this carry is also as 0. So, now see here, you are coming to third full adder. For this third full adder, your inputs are 1, 0 and 0. That means carry from second full adder is given as input to the third full adder. So, in 1, 0, 0, for some, if you take an XR operation, here also single one is there as XR gate is a odd one detector definitely by XRing 0, 0, 1 you are getting S2 is also 1. Now to get carry you are multiplying again that means 1 into 0, 0 into 0, 0 into 1. In any case you are getting 1 means no you are getting 0 only that means by adding all the three zeros 1 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 0 so by adding all those zeros that means a b plus b c plus c a functionality you are carry here also equal into 0 now we are at last full adder so that means fourth full adder in this four bit addition so now for this fourth full adder the uh, input bits are 0 1 0 0 1 0 means by XRing 0 1 0 again you are getting S3 as 1. So now to get carry out you are taking 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 means 0 into 1 means 1. 1 into 0 0 into 1 0 and 1 into 0 0 0 into 0 0. All you are getting zeros again. So your carry out is equal to 0 now. So, you are not having any carry. So, finally, you need to see your result here. So, here you are having your result that is equivalent to 15. See here 1, 1, 1, 1. This is your result. So, this is the result of addition of A and B. First of all, see here A means 0, 1, 0, 1, nothing but 5. And B is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, nothing but 10. If you added that 5 with 10, you are getting 15. So, in this way, you can get your answer by using n bit parallel adder by cascading n for, uh, full adders and n carries like this.